Hello, my name is Peter Tennant from Control Logic. I'm one of the application engineers here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Bluetooth connectivity for the ACS 580 and ACS 880 series of variable speed drives. You need the Bluetooth compatible keypad, which is a part number ACS AP W. The drive needs to also have the compatible firmware to support the keypad. The operational distance from the, to the drive via Bluetooth is up to 75 metres. This is assuming line of sight. You then need ABB Drive Tune app, which you can download from the App Store. So I'm going to demonstrate first of all how we connect the, your phone using ABB Drive Tune to the, the VSD. So the first thing you need to do is push and hold the question mark button on the VSD keypad for two seconds. At that point you'll have a, a PIN number to enter to pair your phone to the VSD keypad. So I'll enter the PIN number next. OK, so now my phone is connecting to the, the VSD. This can just take a little while while it's initialising and loading the, the dashboard. So while it's doing that, I'll explain some of the, the reasons why you might want to do this. Being able to stand remotely to the drive and control it is, could be very useful. If you think about it, if you are commissioning uh, a new system, you might want to be able to start and stop the drive while standing nearby the, the motor to make sure that the the motor has been correctly cabled and it's rotating the right direction and if it's not you want to be able to stop it. So instead of having to have one person standing by the VSD and one what, what standing by the motor, you could simply have the one person by the motor with the ability to stop the VSD or start it via Bluetooth. Other benefits of course would be being able to, at a later date, the VSD might all be operational, but it could be inside a safety area in the plant, so the safety gates, it's not easily accessible without having to uh, take various measures to enter the area. So it allows you to stand remotely and to be able to control the drive or see what's going on, maybe look at a fault, reset a fault remotely. So there's many benefits to being able to have the Bluetooth connectivity and be remote to the drive. OK, well the dashboard is now loaded while I was talking. So basically all the functionality you have available from the, the VSD keypad you also have available through the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the VSD into what's called a local mode. So it prompts you before changing mode that you want to do so to make sure you're not accidentally swapping mode. So I'll say OK to that. Local mode basically means you can start and stop the VSD Via the, key, um, via the keypad, or in this case, via the phone. So we can see here, we've got start-stop buttons, we've also got a slider where you can adjust the frequency. So I'll adjust the frequency, I can slide it down to 13.4 hertz, or I can slide it up all the way up to 50 hertz. I'll now give the VSD a start command. Okay, so the VSD is now starting up, we've got a 20 second ramp time, so it will gently ramp up to the 50 hertz. You can also view other information such as the motor current, percentage motor nominal torque to mention but a few. OK, so the VSD is now ramped up to 50 Hz. So now I want to be able to stop the drive. So I can simply hit the stop button. And we'll hear the VSD ramping down. Again, I've programmed a 20 second deacceleration time to give it a nice gentle ramp down. Once it comes to a stop, I'll switch from what's called local to remote mode. In remote mode, the drive is basically controlled via I.O. or via field bus. So we swap from local to remote, you get the message to just check, you confirm that you do want to swap mode, it's not been an accidental uh, button press, so yep, say OK to that. The VSD will now switch to remote mode. So we no longer have the ability to start and stop the drive or adjust the speed reference via the uh, drive tune app. Instead, it's uh, being remotely controlled. So in this instance, I programmed the VSD to start via a digital input. So I'll now activate the digital input, the start button, <clears throat> and we can, the VSD starts running. You can view many other information other than just starting and stopping it or changing the speed reference. For example, I.O., you might want to know which of the 
what all the digital inputs on the VSD are, what their functions are, what they've been allocated to. So you can simply see that information under I.O. Or if you go into the, the hardware, it tells you the model of the drive, the type of keypad, if there's any extension I.O. So it can provide a lot of information. So I now just give the drive a stop command and it will ramp, ramp down to a stop. So basically this is just a short overview on the Bluetooth connectivity available for the ACS 580 and ACS 880 series of drives. I thank you for taking the time to listen to this video today.